Before fertilizing soybean fields, adjust the soil pH to a pH, water, between 6 and 6.5. No nitrogen fertilization is necessary, but proper inoculation with Rhizobium japonicum before planting is essential. The recommended levels of phosphorus and potassium in the soil are as follow. Phosphorus analyzed with Bray 1 must be more than 25 milligrams per kilogram. The potassium content is related directly to the clay percentage of the soil. For sandy soils, that is soil with less than 15% clay, the potassium content must be at least 70 milligrams per kilogram. For loamy soils, that is soil with between 15 and 30% clay, the potassium content must be above 85 milligrams per kilogram and in clay soils, that is soil with more than 30% clay, the potassium content should be more than 120 milligrams per kilogram. One ton of soybean seed removes 75 to 105 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare, 8 to 9 kilograms of phosphorus, 25 to 40 kilograms of potassium, and 9 kilograms of sulfur per hectare. Phosphorus deficiency symptoms appear as small light green leaves on the plants. Potassium deficiency is indicated by leaves turning yellow from the edges. In contrast with other crops where the deficiency symptoms first show on older leaves, all leaves can show symptoms on soybeans. Where nutrients are adequate, soybeans have a dark green color without any discoloration or smaller leaves.